Hey everybody, we're about to make a song. We wrote a hundred riffs in a day a little you while ago. You wrote a hundred riffs in yeah, a day. Yeah, you helped yeah. me. <laughs> I was um, on drums, yeah. And so we got people to vote on which ones we should turn into full songs, and there's actually a three-way tie for number one. Yeah. So we're about to listen to which ones those are. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this one. Yeah, I like that one. I could definitely see where we could go with that. That was called So Fooey, right? Oh, it's So Fooey! So Fooey! So Fooey! Number six, So Fooey. And then what were, what were the other two? The next one? Oh, number nine. Oh, like Bye Pile! Oh, I love that name. You came up with that. I did, I love that name. Did you do that as a kid? What is Bike Pile? You, like, a bunch of us would go out, we all have bikes, and then we would go somewhere and you just put all your bikes in a pile. Bike oh, Pile. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't have that that many friends. <laughs> it was like a, two bikes side by side. One was my dad's. Not much of a <laughs> This was like the slowest one we yeah. did that day. I'm probably not gonna pick that. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. I think we're just too amped up today to yeah. want to work on yeah. this. Yeah, I mean, I, I love this one. Maybe it's for another video if, if people yeah. want it. Um, but yeah, I'm between Bike Pile and the first. Me it's too. Just like, I we... think we get out there, we jam both of them and see what... Well, let's get out yeah, there. Let's yeah, get let's out get out there. there. All right. So good. Instant so classic. Good. Instant. Twice as long. I think we do that twice as long as a huge long intro. Okay. We'll throw like a big lead line over it. Well, let's hear the other riff. I okay. really like where that's going. But let's yeah. give Bike, bike Pile, pile a try. I don't know. I think it was this key, but I know what the riff is. First song. First song. Right, yeah. Is that what you're feeling? I am. So we are doing. And what is that one called? So Fooey. So Fooey. Some kind of arena rock type deal. So. Well, I mean, right. we know what the, the riff is. Where does it go after that? I don't know. Let, let's let's just jam it and uh, find out. Yeah, cool. Oh, maybe that's the vibe. Oh! Yeah. So fooey. So fooey. Sounds so familiar, but let's just run with it. I don't know if it's like, I, I don't know if it's one of those moments where it's like, oh, that sounds so great. Why hasn't anyone done this? Yeah. And then later you're like, oh, that's that's the ice cream song. What's the ice cream song? You know, like what the ice cream truck plays. We're biting something. But whatever, let's just take a chomp from the top. Yeah, I still want to vary the verse. You know, right yeah, now we're yeah, just yeah. the same thing four times in a row, but yeah. <laughs> Let's let's do a stop back into it. We should do a pre-chorus. Okay. That's just so epic. We want yeah, to build more. Yeah, yeah. We got to build up to yeah. it. Oh, and then in the pre-chorus, we'll pause right before. Oh, just so we don't do the standard like. Yeah. Here we go. Like, you know, like yeah. we we do that so often. Yeah. Um, Maybe the palm mute doesn't come in until the pre-chorus. Yeah. So it starts building. Love those chords. Yeah. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. Do those need to go twice as long for choruses? Yeah, we won't really know until it, like if we get a really, really strong melody, we'll probably want it to be double. Or is this just like cool instrumental part and we oh. actually have a bigger chord? Oh yeah, yeah, maybe that's the pre-chorus. That builds up, yeah. yeah and then, then it goes to like. Yeah. 
I don't know about the structure, but I love yeah. all of these yeah, sections. Yeah, yeah. We've got um, the 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 riff we got from Riff Lord. We have the big chorus, and then we have the verse, and then how the verse goes with the palm mutes. I think I got it, dude. Okay. I think we just switch what we were calling the chorus and what that instrumental thing yeah. is, and this becomes what we finally build up to. But that thing is more of the pre-chorus. So yeah. So so as we're playing, just say, and now we go to this part. So so give me the names of the parts. So we're gonna do uh, A D F Q. Form. Oh, classic. Yeah. So, so that's where you write a a bunch of parts, but until you and get to Q, and then you them. don't use them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is the drop. Okay, that's the drop. All right. And then the, the verse. verse is. We know what the verse is. Yeah, I know what the verse is. And then the chorus. And then the pre-chorus. Okay. We had that climby thing, but we also had. And that's the chorus. Yeah, chorus into drop. Okay, yeah, so yeah, sure. just to, yeah. Uh, we just have verse, chorus, build up, and then, okay, yeah. Yeah, I want to, ins I'll, I'll just talk, it, talk you through it while we run it through. Sweet, Ready? from the top? From the top, one, two, three, four. I like this. Give me a really big, like, toms, tom beat. I just want to hang out instrumentally for a chill thing before the verse comes here. Yeah, and we'll fill this with, like, atmosphere, and then the verse comes here. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I'll get that chord right one time. Pause. Oh yeah. And okay. That, that, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love that. So we do like a singing thing. I have a little riff break. Okay. And the second time break. we're building the riff break to a pause until we're back in the drop. And then we go back into the drop. Let's take it from there going into the drop, but let's do a pause before the drop. Okay. Oh, riff break. That's great. Delay the drop again? Yeah. Da, 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 we want it to be special. Da, da, da. Is it all the Just don't know. Okay. That's when we do the pause, and then we're back to the Dude, drop. Dude, I love that riff, though. What that, I just, like the end of the... Yeah, yeah. You know what? I've been doing a different riff every riff break, just like making stuff up. Maybe it's like that, it's that, different that, every time. That shouldn't be at every time, but that should be at the end, then we hang on it for a while. Okay, wait. I do want to decide then what those riff breaks are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what the 
second one's gonna be? The first one's gonna be, I kinda like the like. Yeah. That, that vibe. And then we maybe we start and end the song with the riff from Riff Lord. Whoa. I've got the whole form written down here if I want if you want me to run you through it quick. I think once we start playing, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. Sick. And and if I don't match you exactly, then we can punch. Alright, let's try it out. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry, Andrew. I was distracted because Phil's head was directly underneath the symbol and I didn't want to hit the symbol <laughs> with his ears directly underneath it. It just didn't feel right to be like, hey Phil, how you doing, bud? Like That's so rock and roll of you, Rob. Okay, you feel like that one's good? Yeah, I feel like that one's great. I would love to do a, a double and a triple of my guitar then. Yeah, hell yeah. Just to like make this huge. Do you want me to go in, then what should I do now? Throw down topic ideas or... I first go to guitar solo, but I want you to do a synth solo. I think there's a big synth lead that would be possible. Yeah, let's do Maybe synth. Maybe today we get on the modular and add weird sound yeah. effects, we could do that together. Maybe I'll go in there and just start writing lyrics. Or just relax and have a beer. Just get an Uber. I'm gonna go to the beach. And that was the last time we saw Rob. <laughs> it's time for a quick break. Today's video is sponsored by the Country Music Association. Go check out their YouTube channel if you love country music and wanna go behind the scenes of the country music industry. They have a few different video formats such as Music To My Ears where singers, songwriters, artists, performers, label owners, producers, and fans break down lyrics and reflect on country music throughout the decades. Lots of really interesting musical and historical nuggets in there. Another series is called In Their Boots where you basically get to watch and follow along with a top performer or a hit songwriter as they just go about their day. It's kind of a more raw, real look at what the day-to-day -day is like in this industry. I think what they're doing with these behind the scenes is great because obviously we love the music, but so often there are really interesting stories and people behind it. Uh, so it's cool to learn about that. Check out the link in our video description to go to the playlist for music to my ears and enjoy. And uh, now we're gonna go and find out if Rob ever came back. <laughs> For some reason in my head I got Beyblades. <laughs> Whatever's your first inspiration lyric wise, at least for me, like just go for it. You can sit with it for a while and change a few words and make it by something else. Beyblades! <laughs> Beyblades, hey. <laughs> what, what were Beyblades? Nice. And then I'll just do all of that again. Okay, do you want to hear that second time to play along with? Uh, that would be great, yeah. Perfect. This is Marty's fourth day using Pro Tools. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing great. This is his first day in a studio. This is his first day hearing music. I've He's actually never heard music before. before. He was just, <laughs> Marty was just born. <laughs> Hi, a decade has gone by, speeding all the time. My peace of mind is mine. From here on out, I'm fine. Okay, I think we got the lyrics. I think that's it. That it for guitar for now? I think so. I guess I'll track bass. So I've shazammed like six times on this and it's coming up with nothing. This song is not exist. Oh, cool. So I keep on really? doing it and it says nothing's found, nothing's found, nothing's found. We got an original melody. I don't know how that happened, but it's awesome. Love that. So you build up to it. Love that. Bass done. Great job, dude. I got the lyrics. Woo. I need to clear my mind. A year or two is fine. And then mm -hmm. I and 
And then something else, stay safe. Da, na, na, na. That feels hey. weird to me. Yeah, yeah stay that safe feels is like weird. It's for kids crossing the road or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, this, this is what I wanted. So originally it wasn't stay safe, it was Beyblades. And, uh, <laughs> and then so I had, oh, high, dude, high dude, dude, this was going in the strummy part with the riff breaks. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay, because I had a melody own. there and oh, I started perfect. singing some stuff oh, that perfect, might actually, dude. that fits with this. Because I started singing like, If I Die Tonight, which is like oh. maybe a little dark, but it is, yeah. it's talking about like <laughs> wanting to do what, oh, what you're meant for, right? Oh, sick. And yeah, not, perfect. Not like living with regrets or whatever. Like, Great. Oh, yeah. perfect. Because yeah. that, that part was the part I didn't like. And then here yeah. it's like, hi, the years they have gone by of speeding all the yeah, time. Yeah, I don't know about my, saying my, hi. My peace of mind is mine. From here on out, I'm fine. Okay, sick, and, sick. and so, yeah, I would love to change Psy and hi. So glad you're using most of my verse. The part that I didn't like of mine was the part that you happen to have. <laughs> this is why we're the perfect team. <laughs> I feel like it's super relatable, super singable. Yeah, yeah. Um, should I just drop this right now? Yeah, do it. I, I'm so behind the time. I need to clear my mind. Ready to work. I don't have a third line. I don't know what, can we, you bring the other lyric sheet in? I don't know what happened to that. Oh, I'm straining all the time. I didn't write that one down. Yeah. Oh, Andrew, I just had an idea. If you wanted to do the modular synth, I could plug my guitar into the modular synth. I was thinking that. I think you should play and I'll tweak. I'd love that. And if I die tonight, am I your right? Cool. I'm gonna try harmonizing the chorus. And if I die tonight, am I your right? Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. I think that's all vocals. And now I'm gonna play a synth solo. What are you guys thinking there? Does this need anything? Or is the riser thing cool? Like maybe we just make a riser but not have a, a melody? Uh, Dan, wait, I, I'm feeling like da Yeah. Yeah, 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 dude, I have the same type of idea, so that that's great. And then just like more vibrato as you go until the end of it, you're like, Wah! like going to the max vibrato you can get. Let's just, just to see. Uh, that's 96 semitones. <laughs> so Andrew, it happens three times in the song. Let's do the 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 first two are the same, the yeah. regular one vibrato, and then the third you vibrato to the moon. Let's do it. Love it. Cool. Oh man, are we onto this now? Time to get weird. Try sparser one now. Just yeah. like pick scrapes and oh, yeah, cool, that kind of cool. stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we got some good stuff in there. Yeah. That was fun. Is that the sound? I think it is.
How'd they come up with so many riffs? I feel like I've just been collecting riffs my whole life. You know, they're like little Pokemon cards. Anyone ever take a riff from you? Dude, don't even get me started. Have you ever heard of Shawn Mendes? 